Hello, everyone. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your next installment of Connecting with Your Inner Masculine. Thank you so much for tuning in. So please keep in mind, guys, that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, this reading is timeless. It is not uh, time stamped with any sort of date or time or time period that this is meant to resonate in. It's just whenever you come across this reading, that is the message for you at that time, if it resonates. Yes? Uh, yeah, so we're getting in with this, man. Keep it going. I really like this series. It's doing really, really well. So here the intention is to give you a look as to what is going on with your inner masculine energies. Everybody has masculine and feminine energies in combination within themselves, okay? So here we're looking for what is it, the messages that you need to know at this time, excuse me for a second, I just wanna light my sage here. What are the messages for you at this time to help you connect with your inner masculine? Now, if you are dealing with a counterpart situation, you might be able to get an, an, a, a, a look into what might be going on with them, but really the intention here is to focus on your inner situation and what's going on with your inner masculine energies. Yes? Alrighty, guys. I believe that's it. Yeah, so let's just get started. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the masculine collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved. Please give us a clear and accurate representation of the energies of our inner masculine and how and guidance as to how we can further connect with our inner masculine energies. Thank you so much, spirit. All right, guys, so I have a number of tarot decks that I'm going to use and I have some a few questions that I want to look at to get an idea of what's going on with your inner masculine energy. So I'm going to do that. And then at the end of the reading, <clears throat> I'm going to get Oracle guidance from the dragons. Yes. So let's get started. First thing I want to look at here using the unicorn tarot. What is the current energetic state of your inner masculine energies? So I'm going to give this five shuffles. And we'll see what we've got. The current energetic state of your inner masculine energy. That's one. This is two. This is three. Current energetic state of your inner masculine energies for the collective. Four. And five. All right, guys, let's see what we've got for the inner masculine. What are your, what is the current energetic state of your inner masculine? The Knight of Pentacles. Interesting, but it is in reverse. Ten of Cups. Five of Wands. Hmm. Not gonna lie this is a little troubling yep and then the five of pentacles okay overall energy we do have the nine of pentacles that's interesting all right um wow <laughs> wow wow okay well it seems like you've come or your inner masculine and your masculine energies your inner masculine energies have come to a little bit of a halt with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. What I'm feeling like here is it looks like they, that your inner, from the perspective of your inner masculine, you've been working towards something diligently, slowly but surely, yes, piece by piece, but this feels really arduous and burdensome. And it seems like there has been a, like a literally, I'm like a, a halt, like a straight up stop, stop in your tracks, like a, hold up like a screech moment, right? You had this sort of momentum going in one direction, albeit it was probably pretty slow, but that's okay, it doesn't matter. Um, it doesn't have to be slow either. This could be, this just could seem, uh, this could have been something that you were pursuing from a very practical point of view, a very practical, uh, 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 yeah, point of view, okay? Um, 
that being maybe societal norms, societal standards, gender norms, even something like that, something, but, but you were pursuing something and yet it didn't, it wasn't in true alignment with you, or it's not in true alignment with you. And thus we call in the energies of the nine of pentacles, which is abundance. Yes. But individuality, autonomy, and, um, sovereignty right it seems like currently you have come you have entered into this nine of pentacles energy this self-sufficient and abundant energy um there's definitely an energy of just feeling independent feeling a greater sense of independence within which has allowed you to to, to basically see something differently and put a stop to this movement knight of pentacles in reverse but see, here's what we have here now. So then we have the five of wands and the five of pentacles. And literally, I just saw five, five, five on the counter as it turned to five, five, six. Interesting. But we have two fives here. And it's very, very interesting because the feminine actually in this part of her reading, <coughs> excuse me, in terms of what her current energetic state is, she had three, three, three. And now we have five five here for the masculine so the masculine side of the equation is going through a serious change fives are numbers of change you have the five of wands with the five of pentacles uh, it, it it feels like right now your masculine energy is kind of battling there's an inner conflict here it's battling a sense of inadequacy in terms of getting what it is you truly desire Ten of Cups. Am I even worthy of getting what it is I truly desire? And this could very well be connected with the energies of the feminine because the feminine right now is in a period or in an energetic state of going off the beaten path, doing something that is brand new, that has not been done before. And that doesn't mean societally, that could just mean for yourself, going in a brand new direction and doing something brand new that you never would have done in the past. And from the masculine point of view, from the conscious, three-dimensionally focused, action-oriented point of view, you're dealing with energies of inadequacy, of lack, of not feeling good enough, not being educated enough, not having enough finances, whatnot, whatever. But this is all perceived, right? This is why you have this five of wands energy connected to it, which is that inner conflict, that um, ego battle, that differing of opinion, that push-pull back and forth. Currently, it feels like the inner masculine energies are dealing with cleaning this up, changing some sort of trajectory, moving in a brand new direction that ultimately is going to be taking you, leading you towards a greater sense of emotional fulfillment. And definitely a much greater sense of emotional fulfillment than you have been experiencing in the path, uh, past toward, uh, with, in terms of what it is you were pursuing with this Knight of Pentacles energy that seems to have come to a halt. Even energetically speaking, you may still be on the surface in the 3D going through certain motions because it's required or it's necessary at this time. But energetically speaking, there has been a halt. And it's all coming from this sense of autonomy and independence with the Nine of Pentacles, okay? Okay. Excellent. So with that said, let's move forward. What I would like to look at now is what are the challenges that your current, that your inner masculine are currently facing for that? I'm using the Epic Tarot. Yes. So we're going to give this five shuffles here. And it seems like the energies for the, your inner masculine and masculine right now are already pretty challenging just with the current energetic state that they're in or that, excuse me, that he's in. And please understand that when I'm, I'm going to refer to the inner masculine as he, okay, but this could, we could be talking, it doesn't matter. We're not talking about gender. We're just talking about, um, energy. And yes, I'm using a certain pronoun that denotes gender, but it's really just to make things a little easier to understand. Yes. For lack of a better pronoun, I guess you could say. So he is faced with something that's pretty serious right now. And so that's pretty challenging, but let's see officially what your inner masculine is challenged with that was two this is three we're giving this five shuffles here three four what are the challenges that your inner masculine are currently facing and five 
Okay, let's see what we've got here for you. Challenges that your inner masculine are currently facing. Ooh -wee. Wow. Oh boy, that's a lot. <laughs> Overall energy is the page of wands. Wow, self-discovery. The Page of Wands, in my opinion, is a minor arcana version of the Hermit, which is a path of self-discovery, which is a spiritual path, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. But as the Page of Wands, um, this could also represent a new creative endeavor, maybe even a message, okay? But in terms of this, three-dimensionally or physically speaking, there is your, your inner masculine is being challenged with re-identifying himself. And... We already have some mirroring now, both between the masculine and the feminine, but we have a continuation of a message. We have the nine of pentacles again for the masculine. So that is another energy of coming to terms with oneself or getting to know oneself better or embodying this sense of autonomy and independence that is coming through. And yes, that is a challenge for the masculine right now. What else? We have the star, the seven of cups, the queen of pentacles. The, her, the wow, the Hierophant, the Queen of Cups, the, war, the, the Wheel of Fortune, the Seven of Wands, and the Devil. No, I'm sorry, not the Devil. <laughs> not the Devil. The Emperor. Well, holy shit, y'all. This is some really serious energy. Now, we do have mirroring between the masculine and the feminine here. And it's in terms of the seven of wands. The feminine is in a place where she's asking for defense. She's asking to be protected and defended. She is asking, your inner feminine is asking you, and if you haven't seen it, you should go watch that reading next. But your inner feminine is asking you to protect her and the, the, the guidance that she's providing you and the new opportunity and the new direction that she's providing you with as much fierceness and force as you've protected yourself in defending this direction that now seems to have come to a halt. Okay, that is what the Seven of Wands is depicting here, you have an also an Im uh, a representation of the feminine energy in the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. So the feminine has worked very hard and has settled into this Queen of Pentacles energy, has also settled into her it being in tune with her emotions and her intuition. And now she's asking you, as you masculine go through your development, she's asking for a defense. She's also asking you to line up here as in being her counterpart, the king and the, the king to her queen, king of pentacles, king of cups, right? To her queen of pentacles, queen of cups. But she's showing up here in your challenge because her energy is directly affecting you, masculine. It's influencing you. It's guiding you through this. You have the star with the seven of cups. Um... Yes, you have the star with the seven of cups. The star is an energy of wish fulfillment. It's also an energy of healing, but it's also an energy of faith. And what I really feel like here is there, this star energy is kind of forcing you to start looking at some things, masculine. Looking at some, well, we're talking to your inner masculine here, but it's forcing you to start to look at some things. There is also a bit of confusion here. Absolutely, because you're going off the beaten path and thus... You're having to tune into your intuition. You're having to utilize your intuition. And that, can, that, is, that takes a lot of faith. It takes a lot of faith because you don't quite understand, especially from the logical point of view that the masculine holds, holds intuition is completely illogical, completely irrational. There is absolutely no way, says the ego conscious mind, there is no way that I should know this. And yet somehow I do. There is no reason why I should be able to say, yes, I can, I'm going to go in this direction. It's going to work. And yet my intuition is telling me it is so. You have to trust it. You have to trust your intuition. 
Okay. Then you have the Hierophant here with the five. Oh, I'm sorry, not that five. With the Wheel of Fortune. And it's crazy. Well, it's not crazy, and it really shouldn't be so surprising. But for the feminine in the challenge that she's faced with, the, her, the Hierophant, I'm sorry, the Hierophant came out, but it came out in reverse because the feminine is going off the beaten path. And thus here for the masculine, the challenge is to change your trajectory, to let go of the norms, let go of societal conditioning, let go of the gender norms. Get into your independence. Get into who you truly are outside of the def definition that society would like to put on your shoulders. Has successfully put on your shoulders for quite a long time, correct? In doing so, you are changing your destiny. You're changing your karma. Wheel of Fortune. But yes, all of this is quite challenging. Because you are coming into your power, the emperor, who you are as an individual. Instead of allowing the patriarchal society or a patriarchal network or society as a whole or whatnot, whatever, conventionalism, whatnot, whatever. Instead of allowing that to rule you, you, in fact, are ruling yourself. But that is quite challenging. It is quite challenging for the masculine collective, and it's something that, they, that the masculine collective has really been working towards. It does seem to be going well. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. This does seem to be going quite well. It does seem that with the, with the Nine of Pentacles coming out twice here, both in the current energetic state of your, of your inner masculine energies and in the current challenge that your masculine energies are faced with, it seems that this lesson of, of autonomy and independence is really starting to take hold. But yeah, that is going to shake up a bunch of shit. <laughs> it sure is. Okay, so next what I want to look at is what does your inner masculine want you to know? And for that, I'm going to use the Golden Universal Tarot. So here we go. Five shuffles. What does your inner masculine want you to know? And this is number two. I did say this during the, during the feminine reading. I was channeling the feminine energies and the masculine energies kept coming in. And to me, that was a sign that the masculine, it's getting harder to distinguish between the masculine and the feminine energies, which is beautiful. That's exactly what we are looking for. That is exactly what we are going for here, guys. No longer duality but unity yes and so it makes perfect sense this makes perfect sense that whatever what is going on here with the your current inner masculine energies the feminine has a heavy heavy influence on the masculine right now and the and it's really all about autonomy independence and integrity okay so that's influencing this change for the masculine and it's really for the better of all Yes? Excellent. What does your inner masculine want you to know? Uh, shuffle number three. And it's crazy because I think this message came out last week, but I'm hearing it again. He's saying, please have patience with me. Okay. It's done. Four. And check it out, guys. As long as you're doing your work, as long as you're following through with the guidance, no matter how long it takes you, as long as you're following through, your feminine will always be patient with you if she is in her proper alignment, whether that be externally or internally, okay? And that's the Queen of Pentacles energy here. That's right here. The only reason the Queen of Pentacles would ever turn her back on you is if she comes to the understanding or she realizes that you're taking, you're taking her kindness for weakness, you're taking her resources for it, to, uh, taking advantage of her resources, and you're not following through with your end of the bargain. But that seems to be happening here. This is the last shuffle. What does your inner masculine want you to know? Cool. Here we go, guys. Excellent. Excellent. Six of pentacles, six of wands. 
Overall energy. Oh, oh man. I kind of wish I had started to say what I was picking up before I looked at the bottom of the deck. So I'm going to talk to you because now that I've seen it, it's con confirming what I'm knowing, what I'm, what I'm knowing. Yes. What I'm hearing, what I'm channeling. So I'm going to explain this first. Six of wands, six of pentacles. Here, the masculine is saying, thank you. Thank you so much. Your generosity, this is to the feminine, your generosity and your willingness and ability to help me and everyone else in this world, but also your, what's the word I'm looking for? Your commitment to reciprocity, meaning you're not going to do any more than, you, than is necessary to be of service you're not going to overgive. You're not going to try and do my work for me, which is exactly what the Queen of Pentacles is stating, right? Or stands for. That is bringing me victory. Six of Wands. You are helping me to achieve my greatest goal, which is the true representation, autonomy, and independence of being myself. Nine of Pentacles. All right? Don't mind that devil card, <laughs> but, but overall energy though, is the two of cups. This is the balance of masculine and feminine energy. This is the masculine and the feminine working in tandem. Your inner masculine recognizes that, honors that, and is grateful for that. So thank you, he says. Beautiful. That is absolutely gorgeous. I love that. Okay, moving forward. Action steps. What action steps can you take to connect, further connect with your inner masculine energies? Five shuffles. So that was one. Two. Action steps that you can take to further connect with your inner masculine energies. Three. Four, and five. All right, guys. So here we go. Action steps that you can take to further connect with your inner masculine energies. energy you have the knight of pentacles which is funny because we started with the knight of pentacles and now we're ending with the knight of pentacles at least from the tarot well right right <laughs> okay and then you have the star the hanged man the chariot and the devil whoa well first of all that's all that's four major arcana but also second of all the devil is underneath the nine of pentacles here and I thought the devil came out from the um, epic. <laughs> Did you see? I'm just sitting here, just pointing, just pointing. The epic tarot, but actually it's the emperor because this is actually numeral, uh, Roman numeral number four. And I swear to God, guys, I get this card with the, the, the emperor and the devil in this deck mixed up all the time. If it weren't for those damn Roman numerals, I would, I would always fuck that up. <laughs> but it's actually the emperor because that's the card number four. Action steps that you can take to further connect with your inner masculine. Okay, there is still a change in perspective that is needing, needed here in terms of the masculine energies and what they truly are. I feel like, and actually this is funny because this is, well, okay. Uh, this is a message that I heard that was delivered through Amanda Ellis. If you guys don't know of Amanda Ellis, I would highly recommend that you follow her. Um, Amanda Ellis, I believe her last, I believe she spells it E-L-L-I-S. 
but she's here on YouTube. Um, she is a color therapist and she works directly with Archangel uh, Metatron. Um, and she released a few weeks ago, she released a twin flame collective message. And in that message, she mentioned that, that there was a message coming through about how we need to change the way we perceive of the divine, the, the divine masculine energies. And that's what I'm seeing here between the hanged man and the star. I'm sorry, the hanged man and the devil. Okay. Um, we very much, wow. Ooh, I might cry. We very much have a, um, a vision of the masculine or a perspective of the masculine that keeps him quite caged. In order for... Okay, so this is actually, just like in the feminine reading, this message was directly for the masculine. In the masculine reading, this message is directly for the feminine. In keeping with the energies of the feminine, influencing the masculine to rise above, yes? To step into the embodiment of the counterpart here in terms of the queen of pentacles and cups. So then that would be the king of pentacles and cups. Um, in keeping with that narrative of the feminine helping to uh, 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 influence the masculine, it is the feminine that really needs to start to change her perspective of what masculine energy really stands for. And that has everything to do with getting away from the social norms. Masculine energy doesn't truly have to be what we have made them out to be. And thus, in doing that, we influence healing we influence wish fulfillment and we influence the movement in a better direction. The chariot. Greater alignment. It's almost as if the feminine holds the key to the masculine being able to embody his true and honest form and self. Especially since, and this message is coming through very loud and clear, if you only see me in a certain way, then that's all I'm ever going to be for you. That's all I'm ever going to allow to be for you in your reality. If you want me to be something different, then you have to see me differently, says the masculine. Knight of Pentacles is saying that this is no easy feat. Slow and steadily, we will be able to change this perspective and get out of this codependency, confinement, devilish way of attachment to a certain way of being. And this really could be just as simple as, even though it's easier said than done, but this could be as simple as seeing the masculine in an infinite way. The masculine can show up in any way he desires to that is true and authentic to him. Nine of pentacles. Think about it this way, feminine. If you're asking the masculine to be authentic and autonomous and independent, how are you expecting him to do that if you are, are limited in your view of who he is or who he could even be? I know, it's mind-blowing. Rocket science at its best, y'all. <laughs> but I mean, it's also common sense too, right? Allow the masculine to be exactly who he is, nothing more, nothing less. I mean, we're still talking to the feminines here. I mean, that's, that's how you want the masculine to receive and perceive of you, right? So why wouldn't we give him the same courtesy? Just saying. <laughs> All right, quit, kids. Let's close, close out the reading here with our oracle guidance from the dragons, yeah? Here we go. Last shuffle. Closing message for the mass, for your inner masculine, from your inner masculine. Take it as it resonates, guys. Closing guidance, please, spirit. I, would, I do want to say for your inner masculine. This is what this feels like in the moment. So closing guidance, oracle guidance for your inner masculine. For 
for your inner masculine energies. Closing Oracle Guidance for your inner masculine. Bear with me, kids. It's coming. It's coming. Just bear with us. There it is. Is that it? Did something flip? No, it didn't. Take this one. Take this one. Okay. What do we have here? Wow. Holy moly. It's so funny because I, I used this deck for morning coffee today. Um, I'm recording this on Friday. And I cleared the deck, like I shuffled it around before I started this reading. And this card was at the bottom of the deck. And I was like, huh, that's really interesting that this would be there right before I start this reading. And now it's come out as your oracle guidance for your masculine. Look at what it is. Silver Lunar Dragon bathes you in divine feminine light. Come into balance and practice peace, harmony, and cooperation. I'm sorry, cooperation. Expand your causal chakra. Your causal, causal chakra, I believe, is your sacral where your emotional body lies. It's, please correct me if, my, if I'm wrong, but I do believe, I think it's your, your sacral chakra or the orange one, <laughs> for lack of a better term, right? And it's, this is in direct alignment with what we were talking about here, about how the feminine energies are really helping to influence and bolster the masculine. Beautiful. Silver Lunar Dragon is a seventh dimensional dragon. Card, uh, page number 90. Like you needed to know what page it's on, but that's okay. <laughs> All right. The moon is a portal through which divine feminine light pours onto earth. It bathes the planet and more specifically connects to our causal chakra and helps to activate it. Recently, Seventh dimensional silver lunar dragons have been able to access this portal and stream into our dimension, particularly when the moon is full. And we have a full moon this weekend, the weekend of October 12th and 13th. It's actually on the 13th, with 13th which is Sunday. That's when it will be 100% full, but it'll be 99% full on Saturday, the, t the 12th. Um, the day that this actual actual reading is being released. Um, so that's beautiful. That, oh wow, that's amazing. I'm going to read that again. Recently, seventh dimensional silver lunar dragons have been able to access this portal and stream into our dimension, particularly when the moon is full. They carry divine feminine light in their energy fields, and their mission is to touch us with it to prepare for the golden future. For 10,000 years, we have been influenced by the masculine. However, in the new golden age, the feminine qualities of peace, harmony, equality, cooperation, love, unity, and wisdom must harmonize with the masculine. So, silver lunar dragons are very dynamic now because they are actively bringing about the balance of yin and yang energy on the planet. As these shimmering dragons touch our causal chakra and enable it to expand, unicorns are able to use the illuminated chakra as a portal to enter Earth and assist in our ascension. In this way, the silver lunar dragons serve us as we serve the planet. Beautiful. Your guidance with this card says, choosing this card suggests that you call on the silver lunar dragons to bathe you in their energy and that you practice peace, harmony, equality, cooperation, love, unity, and wisdom in your daily life. A lunar dragon will be close by, helping and supporting you. As you are beginning, I'm sorry, as you are bringing yourself into balance, you are doing your part to bring the planet into equilibrium. Visualize your causal chakra as your own personal moon. The silver lunar dragons will touch and expand it until the frequency is high enough to allow pure white unicorns to step through it. Uh, please, please correct me if I am wrong as to what the causal chakra is. At this moment in time, you know what? You know what? I'm just gonna look it up. If I can find my phone. Oh no, what'd I do? Oh, there it is. 
causal chakra. I do believe, oh my God, I never started the timer. Don't mind me. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I'm doing laundry at the same time. You're getting a little candid view in my life. I'm doing laundry at the same time. I put my, my laundry in the dryer. Oh no, I picked it up already. God, please don't mind me. I'm, I'm, I'm all over the place. But the causal chakra. But I thought I hadn't um, started the timer for the dryer, but then it just, I did. Oh my God, I am so wrong. I am so, so wrong. The causal chakra, and I, right, we've been here before. The causal chakra is the 10th chakra. So the seventh chakra is your crown, is your, is your, your, your crown chakra, which is right above your third eye, okay? From there, you have your causal vortex. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm getting confused here. Right, okay. So, no, not the 10th chakra. Oh, I'm getting all kinds of confused energy here. But the, the causal chakra is in between your crown and your soul star. Soul star. So technically in the lineup, the causal chakra would be the eighth chakra. That's just how I'm looking at it right now. Please, I apologize. It's not your sacral, which is your, your, the emotional one down here, your, your orange chakra, even though, especially with like the moon being controlling, you know, emotions and whatnot, that would make sense, but it's not. Your causal chakra is right above your seventh chakra, okay? And your seventh chakra is the crown chakra, right at the top of your head. Okay, so there you have it, guys. I apologize for the misinformation, but we got that all figured out. But thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, I hope you all have a fantastic weekend, and I look forward to connecting with you again very, very soon. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.